Oh, would you look at that? My precious little angel is beginning to stir. Good morning, beautiful. Oh, don't look so scared. I'm just a demon. What is there to be afraid of? Ah, ah, ah. You are chained up, so... You won't be escaping anytime soon. And even if you do manage to get out of those chains, there's a nice little seal on all of your angelic powers. I promise you, you won't be going anywhere. Now, come here. Look, if you don't want to lean towards me, I'll just have to get closer to you. Hi there, my little angel. So pristine, so clean, so perfect. I can't believe I have you right here in front of my eyes. It's quite nice, I must admit. I just want to caress your cheek, stroke your hair. In fact, I think I will. Just pat your head like you're a little cat. <laughs> How cute. Although I must say, you are awfully quiet. Is it hard to speak when your little lip is trembling like that? <laughs> oh dear, I think that's adorable. All that fear in your eyes. But you can get rid of that notion for me. Which notion? The one that I am just some evil being that is going to hurt you or torture you. I simply am here as your little guide to hell. After all, it would be horrible of me to kidnap you and then just throw you down here completely unprotected. I have to show you how everything works down here. Oh, dear, no one is going to save you. This is our kingdom, my domain. Trust me, I will make sure that you never leave. However, I can promise you that you won't ever want to leave after this little tour down here. I'm quite convinced that you'll actually be begging to stay down here with me. How can I be so sure? Well, you know it happens. Usually little angels fall from the sky once they switch sides. They might not have intended to come here, but it happened through temptation, deceit, or just their nature. They always beg to go back regardless of that. They always yearn for perfection and white shining lights. But it's fun to be imperfect, to be allowed to do things without worry. Believe me, there are far less rules down here and much more fun to be had. Don't believe me, huh? Well, why don't we test that theory? You can be a good girl for me, can't you? I can let you out of your little chains. All right, I'm trusting you. Don't make me regret that. I'm not scared to punish you. And just like that, you are free. So first things first, number one, do you remember having any thoughts considered impure? <laughs> Interesting. Next question. Do you know your age? Wow, you're quite a young angel. I wish I was still just a few thousand years old. <laughs> now, the final and most important question. Describe the room we are in and how it felt when you first woke up. Oh, that is wonderful, my dear. No, it isn't very important. At least, it doesn't change anything. It just means I had a good pick. Want to know something you probably didn't? I kidnapped you for a specific reason. I have been watching you for quite some time. I have to recognize beauty, grace, and innocence, even as a demon. I have watched a lot of angels in my time, but you... You are the most perfect of them all. You immediately caught my attention. No competition. 
As for why you were the best possible choice, not only are you my favorite, you're feeling normal in hell. You will adapt well down here. I mean, it's not a surefire way, but it is a good indicator of how miserable you're going to be, at least for the next few years. If it is a comfortable temperature here for you, good, because the temperature never changes. Some angels basically melt for decades before they get relief, and others are like you. <clears throat> Anyways, we're going to be moving on. We are going to begin our ritual, of course. I will now teach you a few things you will encounter, so pay attention. As the angel that I stole, you are mine. Please understand that. You look very different from the average demon, so if you just go out and explore without me, you will have experiences and perceive a lot of interesting behavior. I would recommend you stick with me, at least if you like yourself. At least, you know, until you can prove to them that you belong here. You're not just some pushover. But, as I said, as long as you stick with me, you can learn most of the rules here passively. But there is a sort of hazing that goes on, so we will be partaking in that right now. This is a common drink that is consumed down here. You will drink this. Yes, it's just a small amount. Your first time, you have no tolerance. We need to start you off easy. What if you say no? I thought you were ready to behave. Come on, keep being a good girl. I prefer you that way. Otherwise, I'll just have to lock you back up and try again later. That's what I thought. You're so good at obeying me. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Anyways, try not to make a face when you put this down. Okay? We'll see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that reaction never gets old. Don't worry, dear. The burn, it'll go away. You'll be fine. Although... To be honest, you might start getting pretty woozy. We don't know how well you can tolerate this. Oh my gosh, seconds in, and your eyes are already starting to glaze over. Your little head is going empty. Come here, dear. You can sit on my lap. There you go. I'm just going to rub your back while you take in everything you're feeling. Wow, you must be the lightweight of the underground. <laughs> I can't believe it. That's the thing about this drink. It's pretty much instantly absorbed from the moment it hits your mouth. It has properties unlike anything you would have tasted in the human world or above. That's something really cool about this place. It is a breeding ground for breakthroughs and taboo. You are proof of that. A pure angel like you could even do it. You're awfully cuddly when you get drunk. Hey, what's with that look on your face? <laughs> oh, thank you. I'll take the compliment, especially from a beautiful girl like you. You want to face me completely, huh? Sounds like a plan. Come on. Oh, good girl. Your skin looks so soft. I just want to caress that cute little face of yours. Why are you looking at my lips, dear? It's almost like you're hungry. If you want something, you can ask for it, you know. Aw, are you feeling shy? Don't worry. I think I know exactly what I can do for you. <laughs> Your lips sure are tasty. I could just eat you up, you know that?
This demon might just devour you if you aren't careful. <laughs> You're so far gone. You don't even care if I did, do you? Come on, don't be shy. Look, why don't you lay down and relax, and I'll bring the kisses to you. I want you to be comfortable while I give you exactly what you need. <laughs> 